Hello guys and welcome back to the Liam White channel and yes, we have a special guest. Hello. Introduce yourself. I am Kim McGraw, also the owner of McGraw Tism Inc. Also the owner of the Sintel Combat Network and also the owner of McGraw Tism Memes. I'm a very busy boy. He's a very busy man, but today, uh, now you're allowed to meet one person for work and you know, this, this is top quality work. This is very, very important. Uh, we thought we'd bring you our fast lane predictions for tonight. <laughs> yeah, also, uh, big thanks to Jack Laver as well, because he is doing his predictions, but uh, we filmed what, three things today, it will be. So, yeah, well, you can only do one person. So. Yeah, so unfortunately, Jack is not with us, but hopefully for the next one he will be. It'll make it easier. It will do, it will do. Yeah, let's get into the predictions. Okay, Kian, for our first match, we have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. Who do you have and why? Um, I'm going with um, Shinsuke Nakamura. He's my boy from New Japan. Um, going with him because he's obviously lost to Apollo, and I think they'll build him back up with a win over Rollins. They're obviously going to do Rollins versus Cesaro at uh, WrestleMania, and um, I think they'll get give the win to Shinsuke so he can go on to do other things. And Seth will just somehow blame it on Cesaro, so yeah, I'm going Shinsuke. Right, so now it's Liam's predictions. Uh, it is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. Who are you going with? I'm going the same as you. I'm going Shinsuke on this one. There's this like um, storyline going on at the moment with Rollins of everyone's turning his back on him. Everyone's like going against him. And I think... Yeah, I think Cesaro may actually cost him. I think Cesaro may actually come out and cost him the match and Shin Shinsuke is going to pick up the victory for this one. How are we doing, people? Going to give my uh, fast lane predictions. Uh, yeah, still need a haircut. Still got this fat ginger mop on my head. But, um, you yeah, know, we still move on. Um, first match we've got on the card is uh, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Um... For me, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins winning this. I thought, yeah, for a split second, I thought they were going to do a Nakamura push again, but I think we're going to um, give Seth the win. So, you know, maybe we can have a Seth Rollins versus Cesaro match at Mania, which will be a very good match. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's my first one. The next match is for the Intercontinental Championship. We've got Big E versus Apollo Crews. Um, this is a tough one. Because do they save the big win at Mania? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Biggie on this one, and uh, they'll probably have Apollo winner at Mania, as he should, because he's very good. But um, yeah, I'm going Biggie for this one. Right, we've got Apollo Cruz versus Big E. Who are you going yeah. with? Apollo Cruz. You going Apollo Cruz? I'm going different to you this time. Apollo Cruz, I think he's gonna pick up the victory now. He's probably going to lose it again at Mania. But he's looking so strong going into this. Like, Vince has built him. And if you know me personally, you know I don't like the character. But Vince loves him. And it will be, like, he's such a talented wrestler. He does deserve a title belt. I think he's going to probably win today. Um, lose at Mania. Big E's going to hold it for another couple of months. Lose it back to Apollo. And then Big E's going to go world title picture. Next up, we have the mid card titles. We have the Intercontinental Championship first. Uh, it'll be Big E versus Apollo Crews. Um, Apollo Crews has got this new Nigerian gimmick, um, which is interesting. It's interesting. It, it's nice to see Apollo Crews doing something different, but you know, for me personally, I prefer his old gimmick. Um, but I do really enjoy Apollo's matches. I enjoy Big E's matches. I think we're in for a good match. Uh, but for me, I'm going to go Big E. You know, I can't see him giving a title to Apollo Crews just before Mania. I think we're going to have um, Big E going to Mania with a title, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I don't think it'll be a long ma match, but I think it'll be a very good one. Uh, after that, though, we have the United States Championship. Matt Riddle versus Mustafa Ali. Now, we saw this on Raw. Um, so, I'm not as excited for this one. Although it will be a good match. Um, but, you know, again, I can't see him giving a title to Retribution. <laughs> you know, um, Matt Riddle's just won it. And, you know, oh, I, I just can't see Mustafa Ali winning it. 
But it will be a very good match. They're both very talented. So, yeah, that's the mid-card titles. So next we have Riddle versus Mustafa Ali for the United States Championship. Who you got and why? It's obviously going to be Matt Riddle. WWE hate Mustafa Ali for some reason. Um, his title reign hasn't been that long, so I, I, I'm a bit confused on what the feud will be for the belt going into Mania, but yeah, I'm going with Matt Riddle to win. Right, now we got Mustafa Ali versus Matt Riddle for the United States title. What are you going with? Going with Matt Riddle. Vince likes him. Mustafa Ali is being buried to the ground every single time he's in that ring. And you know what? I think his little cronies are going to cost him. The next match is a really weird one. Shane McMahon taking on Braun Strowman. Um, I've also got the weird outcome. I'm actually going with Shane McMahon to beat Braun Strowman. By a green glue. <laughs> I don't know what that's that. <laughs> Jesus, it's just a stupid match. Uh, I feel like Adam Pearce might cost Braun Strowman, and that's what will happen. But yeah, I'm going with Shane McMahon. Right now we've got Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman. Who are you going with? Exactly the same as you. I'm going for the very weird winner of Shane McMahon. It's Shane McMahon in a match. Like, I don't know what they have against Braun. They can just never make him win, and they always make him look stupid. And how else are you going to make him look stupid but to lose to Shane McMahon? So, yeah, I'm going to go Shane, some fluky little thing. You said Adam Pearce, I don't know. Roll up, like a chair shot, referee goes down. Something, Something's going to happen, and Shane's going to pick up the victory. Doesn't he need a shave? Next up... Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. Now, the build-up for this has been interesting. Um, I've weirdly enjoyed it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Shane McMahon for some reason. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this match, I think it's going to be very entertaining, to be honest. I think we're going to see, um, you know, Shane with his, you know, being a bit of a coward. And Braun Strowman's going to finally get to him and beat him. Um, you know... I don't think it'll last long. I can see it's lasting five minutes, but I do think it will be an entertaining match. Um, yes, that's Strowman Man versus Braun Strowman. Talking about weird matches, Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss. Go. Uh, I'm going with Alexa Bliss to win because I believe it's about time The Fiend came out and killed Randy Orton and burnt him alive like he did. And, yeah, because obviously... He's the Joker, Alexa's the Harley Quinn, and he will do anything to protect her. So yeah, I'm going with Alexa Bliss to win this match. Right, now we've got Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss. Which one are you going with? Alexa Bliss. Exactly the same reason as you. Fiend's going to come out. That This could, I was saying to Keen off camera, this could actually be main event. It could be. Because if it is, Fiend's coming back. And yeah. Fiend's going to absolutely destroy Randy. Probably will go to a no contest, but the overall winner will be Alexa Bliss. And then we have the match I never, ever thought would ever watch. Alexa Bliss <laughs> versus Randy Orton. Now, I got back into WWE when Alexa won Money in the Bank. And if you had told me years down the line... I shall be fighting Randy Orton. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed you, but it's happening. So, uh, for me, I think Randy Orton's going to win it. You know, um, I, don't, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be unhappy if Alexa won. I'd be very happy. But um, for me, I think this is going to be a stop-off for Randy Orton to then face the Fiend at Mania. And I think giving him the win might be the smartest option. So, um, so he goes into Mania with a bit more momentum. Uh, so yeah, that's my prediction to the fight, but uh, I never thought I'd ever uh, see. <laughs> Next we have the fallout of a friendship that's gone on for many, many years now. True McIntyre versus Sheamus in a no-holds-barred match. Who have you got? I'm going to go Drew. Um, I feel like this is a, a bit of a weird feud. Um, I will add, if it ends in a no-contest... Don't be surprised, but if, I, if there is going to have to be a winner, I will go with Drew McIntyre. He's just the biggest star, isn't he? He's one of the faces of the company now. 
Seamus, I love him. His new character's amazing, but yeah. Let's go with Drew for this one. Well, we've got Drew McIntyre versus Seamus. Who are you going with? Uh, Drew McIntyre. It's going to be an absolute blood feud, this one. It's going to probably going to go half an hour. There's going to be some crazy spots in this match. But yeah, I've got Drew just coming off that WWE Championship win. Uh, well, Reign, sorry. And yeah, Vin Vince loves him. It's going to be a great match, but uh, Drew McIntyre's going to win the victory. Just saying, we've gone for every single one the same so yeah. far. We then have Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. Uh, again, I can't see Sheamus winning it. I think it's going to be a very good match. You know, I'm really hoping we see a good hard hitting affair here. But uh, for me, I'm going to go Drew McIntyre with a win. Uh, that's, that's all I can say. I can't see Sheamus winning it. I think McIntyre's going to need a bit more momentum going into Mania. Um, I mean, he has to be on that Mania card. He's been amazing for. Um, you know, past years, well, since Royal Rumble, really. So, yeah, I'm going to go um, Drew McIntyre for that one. And next, we've got the women's tag between Shayna Blazer and Nia Jax taking on Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. A weird partnership. Who you got? <sighs> what the? I don't understand this. Well, what's the point? For an entire women's division, you choose to have the two that are going to be fighting at Mania. I'm going with Sasha and Bianca to win this, because if they lose twice in a row, then what's the actual point of it? Right, we've got the women's tag team title match between Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus yeah. Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks. Who are you going with? Why are we doing this? Honestly, right, quick little, before I get into the prediction, why are we doing this again? You cannot have... Bianca and Sasha lose. They are literally the biggest women's match in Mania. Is that a fat joke? No, of course it's a fat joke. <laughs> but yeah, you, can't, you just can't have them lose. So I'm going them. But why are we in this situation? Like, they can't lose. They probably will. But my prediction is they, they literally, to build the feud up for Mania, they can't lose. Double champs on Sasha. You know how much Vince loves double champs with the uh, women's belt and a tag belt. So yeah, I'm going, going for the uh, challenges on this one. And the final match, we have Roman Reigns taking on Daniel Bryan. Who have you got? Um, I'm going with Roman Reigns. Um, I think what's going to happen is, I think Edge... He's going to accidentally cost Daniel Bryan the match and it could potentially lead to a triple threat of Mania. And um, I think Roman will win by probably submission. Right, and finally, the main event, we've got Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan with Edge as a special guest enforcer. Who are you going with? I'm going to go Roman. Roman versus Edge is the main event at WrestleMania for me. It's been built up so good. And Brian's that underdog. Brian, as much as he's still massive, he's still that underdog. And you can always pull off this underdog story with Daniel Bryan. I just don't think it's this time. Like, to see him have a reign before he loses, uh, before he retires, would be insane. I just don't think this is the time. I think Edge versus... Yeah, Ed Roman is the main event of WrestleMania. I'm going to go Roman Reigns and the same as you. I'm going to go by submission because that's what the story's been building around. We then have the main event, Daniel Bryan taking on Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship of Edge as the referee. Um, I can't see Roman losing the championship, to be honest. I think... Uh, I'm, I'm glad they put Edge as a referee because it does make this match a lot more interesting, a bit more unpredictable. But I can't see him giving Daniel Bryan a belt. Maybe we see a turn from Bryan, who knows, or even a turn from Edge. I don't think it should happen, but who knows? I've got no idea how the match is going to pan out, but I think Reverend's going to win. So, sound. Yeah, so make sure you go subscribe to Liam. You know, it's, it's a good channel, this, so... Uh, make sure you subscribe. There's some good content coming out, coming away, and who knows? Maybe we'll be, when we predict Mania next year, I'll actually have a haircut because I want to be get. I want to get this shit off my head, honestly, man. I want it off. <laughs> so yeah, in a bit.
Right lads, we are back home after an amazing day of film and look in. Um, thank you all very much for watching the predictions. If you see this before the event, drop your predictions down in the comments below. This is going up very late. It's now 8.30 and I've just got out of the shower. I'm recording the outro now. Gonna, I've, I've edited the video, going to put it on the video and then come out. But if you do see it before... Um, drop your predictions down in the comments thank you all very much for watching and one final thank you to Jack who was part of this and Kian. their links will be in the description below and yeah, hope you all enjoy Fastlane